Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here's Dustin Poirier as we get ready to go with round one. He says he's doing less sparring at this stage of his UFC career, and that figures to pay dividends here tonight. He is trying to stay more defensively responsible. Easier said than done when you have as many offensive gifts as Dustin Poirier brings to the table. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts them out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight, and all driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's pawing at you with the right jab, and then boom, he drops that right hand. We have seen and an amazing transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Using a lot of good movement. the closed guard and he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission lands with the ground and pop. again not much defense there another ground strike gets through oh heavy shots raining down it's the elbow there well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Poirier. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watches the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, oh. nice body shot. Oh. So that's the a lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown. In that All right, DC, round two is upon us. Yeah, Dustin right. Poirier right. versus Dustin Poirier. Right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That hook was bad. There's that straight left for Dustin Poirier yet again. That has been his weapon of choice throughout his career. And he's got it working here in this matchup tonight. He's got it going. You know, DP is a good fighter. The guy is a very talented mixed martial artist. And when he can land that left hand consistently, he is a problem for anybody in the lightweight division. And he is showing why right now. Poirier's thigh and the outside of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. Misses again with a right punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. 
That punch, no good. Marie's eyes are starting to swell now. Finds a home for the left hand there. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He's back to the clinch. How does he proceed from here? So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Swing and a miss by Poirier. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Right hook to the head block. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a Strikes.